Hello and welcome to another episode of Future Stars, the series in which we take a deep dive into one specific player who has potential to become a pretty solid player. Today we have Alan Velasco, an 18-year-old Argentinian left winger primarily. He seems to be able to play any attacking roles from the get-go, but primarily he's focused on the left-hand side. He also has pretty solid feet for, for both sides, with his left being a slightly little bit weaker than his right, but it's still something you can't really complain about. At the start of the game, you can find Velasco at Independiente in Argentina. His current ability usually starts at 111, making him half decent for Division 2 sides from the get-go. His potentials more commonly found in the 160s. There was one occasion where I found him at 150, uh, but that can happen because he's got no fixed potential and that can differ from save to save. But I mean, even if he was found out to be a 150 player in your save, I feel like that's not too bad and you can't really argue with that. Due to his potential being quite fluctuant, you can find his price tag varying from save to save depending on how uh, how high his potential is in that specific save. But you can usually find him for about 5.75 or £7 million. Pounds. As I say, it all depends on the potential ability in that specific save. He seems to be fairly balanced from the beginning. Um, his 13 pace acceleration, his 15 dribbling, 14 first touch and finishing seems to be the standout attributes at this moment of time. The club we've placed Velasco at today is in La Liga Smart Bank at Espanyol. He should be doing pretty well with this team. His ability should match with them pretty well. And as he gets bigger and better, we can start moving him onto greener pastures and into the bigger matches. So I'll catch up with you later on in the future and we'll see how he's getting on. Welcome back and we're now like 13 years into the future. Alan Velasco is now a 30-year-old man. Let's see how his career has gone and how he's developed. He So initially he's an elite winger, which we kind of expected because everyone in the series should be around that sort of level by the time they're in their prime. His stats look pretty balanced, but I mean, this is just an idea of how he turns out naturally without any form of um, individual development, like with me trying to sort of increase certain areas. But if you decide to have him, you can, of course, do whatever you'd like with him. You can try and train him up into other positions, kind of like how he seems to be uh, getting trained by Barcelona here. Or you can also train him to play a certain way or try and improve certain attributes such as you might want it to be a free kick taker because you have none. Um, it's all down to how you play and what you want from the player. But you can always increase this and it's just like an outline of how he will turn out if you just focus in general. I think his chart over here is pretty good. Uh, of course, his aerial isn't going to be that good because he has a four jump in reach and he's five foot seven. So no one's really expecting him to win any battles in the air. But aside from that, he looks pretty solid, especially on the offensive stuff. He looks really good. Let's see how his career's gone, where he's been, the transfer fees he's been getting, and see how he's been performing. Because as I always like to say, it's about how the player performs and the form ratings, the goals and all the stats, as opposed to like these kind of stats. Because you can have all the stats in the world, but if you're not performing, what's the point? Wow. Wow. This is probably one of the best players we've done so far. I think this might be better than Inter. Because we started off at Espanyol. He played the season, got a 6.8, which is... It's alright. Did a job. He scored a 10 goals, 2 assists. Um, he then was transferred to Man United, which I'm going to guess is back end of the summer window, maybe, with 3 games played. Uh, for 10.75, he wasn't a part of their squad whatsoever and was out on loan every season which is fine because he's getting developed in which he from pretty much from his third loan spell uh, he's nailing on like seven rating every single year he had a solid season with Werder Bremen the second time round at 31 games 16 goals uh, and then it looks like he got moved on from Man United to Paris Saint-Germain in the January window of 2027, I guess you'd say. So he looks like he's absolutely smashed it since going to PSG for £55 million. With an 8.15, which you might not want to count, I guess, because he only played a couple games. Uh, and it'd be, it'd be better off. I think 10 games is a fair amount of games to at least take the rate in more seriously. But then he went to Barcelona for £86 million, which is where he's still at today. Um, and since being a Barcelona, he's just continued to smash it. 
in his best season so far. Looks like it's come into his second season at Barcelona. 34 games, 19 goals, 6 assists, 10 man of the matches, 7.76 rating. It's fantastic. So first season was best 11 for Espanyol, best young player of the month. He went on loan to Gladbach for one season and was inducted into the best 11 overall. In 2026, when he was on loan at Wolves, he was the supporters player of the year and inducted into their seasonal best 11. He's also been absolutely smashing it for Argentina as well, by the look of it, because he's been in the best 11 pretty much year in, year out. And now he's been inducted into the overall best 11. Who is he with here? Wow, and in this overall best 11, his rating is 7.5, and that's the highest here. Uh, oh, no, he was like 0.03 away from being the best. So 74 appearances, 30 goals that he's had for his career. He was supporters player of the year for Barcelona in 2031. In terms of club winnings, he won the Pan American Games of the under 22s for Argentina, the DFB Pokal in 2025, Copa Sudamericana. He was World Cup winner in 2030, which is great. So let's have a little look at that. So looking into the final game in 2030 when they won the World Cup, it looks like he scored one goal there. So, uh, And he scored a goal in the semi-final too. So it looks like he's a big game player. He he only wants the big ones. He doesn't want the little play around games in the group stages. That's not for him. But that's where we're going to wrap up the video for today. Uh, and as always, if you've enjoyed this sort of thing, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, leave a little comment down below if there's anything you'd like to give as feedback or if there's someone that you'd like to see in another episode of Future Stars. If you want to make sure you stay up to date with all the content I produce, then hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, have a good one.